Hi, I'm Georgie and on this how-to from Rustoleum, we're going to show you how to paint furniture using our chalky finish furniture paint. First thing to do is just to make sure that the area is well protected. Put dust sheets down or old newspapers just so that we're not going to get any paint anywhere. The beauty of this paint is that it can be used directly onto most surfaces and it's great because when painting furniture there's no need for any sanding, undercoating, priming, so it cuts down massively on preparation time. Just make sure that the item that you're painting is free from any dust or wax and oil. I'm just going to give this chair a quick wipe down with a damp cloth just to pick up any loose bits of dust. And then it's important just to get a clean cloth and give it a dry so that it's ready for painting. Before we start, just have a read of the instructions on the back of the can and then give this paint a really good stir. Just stir it really well and envelope it in together before starting painting. To apply the paint, you can apply it either with a brush or with a roller. For this chair, I'm actually going to use a good quality brush because it's easier to get into all the little details and the carving. Apply the paint evenly and for a smoother finish, try to keep your brush strokes in the same direction. This paint actually works really well over old paint and varnish. The furniture paint actually provides a really good coverage in just one coat, which is great news, but it does depend on the look that you're trying to achieve. Um, and also the colours that you're using. So if you're using a lighter colour on dark wood, a few more coats may be required. Also, if you're looking for a solid finish um, to the furniture, you probably need two to three coats. Whereas if you're actually sanding back the furniture to create a distressed look, fewer coats would be needed. Once you've finished painting the piece, you just need to leave four hours between coats. I've given this chair three coats now of paint, so I'm just using some light sandpaper to sand, spot sand this um, chair. So I'm going to start with areas that would naturally catch the edges, so curved edges, corners, anything that would naturally take a few knocks. And we're just going to rub, but just lightly, don't apply too much pressure, because you can get quite carried away with this. So it's worth um, just standing back and checking progress and make sure that you're happy with it. So once you're happy with the effect of the chair, um, wipe down any remaining dust from the sanding, make sure that your chair is clean again. And then it's time to use the Rust-Oleum Furniture Finishing Wax. And this is really easy to do. Um, you literally just take an old rag, you can also use a paintbrush, pop your dust in the pot, give it a swirl round, and then it's so easy. Wipe it onto the paintwork and just work it in a little at a time. And this finishing wax, this is going to protect the chair and the finish that we've created. This is the nice bit, finishing it off. So once you've covered your object with the wax, um, leave it to dry for 10 minutes. Then take a soft dry cloth, and it's literally a case of buffing the painted uh, wood now. It's really easy. It'll give you a lovely soft sheen on the wood when it's buffed up. And then once you've finished that, leave it for 15 minutes to dry fully. And that's it. We have covered our chair in a lovely gray tweedy fabric. The chair is now complete looking lovely, happy with that. For an alternative finish, um, you could try painting something using two colours. Uh, for example, we've painted this bookcase. We started with a base coat of a dark grey called anthracite, and then we did the top coat in the contrast of a light grey called winter grey. So what I'm going to do now is just gently scrub back some of the top coat so we can see some more of the darker grey coming through. There are a few different ways of uh, achieving this look. You can obviously use a sanding pad or sandpaper. You can wet sand or wet scour. And also you could use the finishing wax. If you apply it in areas after you've put the first coat on, then the second coat of paint won't stick to those areas. This effect looks fantastic on objects with any detailing, molding or carving. And it really does make your furniture look unique. 
For more tips, videos and advice on your next project, visit the Rustolian website, rustolianspraypaint.com and thanks for watching.